this video we are going to learn about most test used for obtaining approximate indicated power of multi cylinder engine this method is used for petrol and diesel engine in this test first engine is allowed to run at constant speed and brake power of engine is generated at crankshaft at certain load and speed and it is measured by dynamometer when all four cylinders are working the indicated power is the power produced due to combustion of fuel within engine cylinder it is the sum of frictional power and brake power let us consider indicated power of cylinder 1 2 3 4 b i1 i2 i3 i4 respectively where frictional power of cylinder 1 2 3 4 let consider b f1 f2 f3 f4 respectively therefore the total indicated power that is i1 plus i2 plus i3 plus i4 is equal to total brake power of engine when all cylinder are working plus total frictional power that is f1 plus f2 plus f3 plus f4 So here I will give this as equation number one. Then the first cylinder is cut off by shock circuiting spark plug in case of SI engine or cutting fuel supply in case of CI engine. This causes speed to drop due to non-firing of first cylinder. It should be noted that although first cylinder is not producing power, still it is moving up and down, so its frictional power must be considered. This speed is once again maintained to its original value by reducing load on engine. Now the equation one becomes. I2 plus I3 plus I4 is equal to brake power of cylinder 2, 3, 4 only, plus frictional power that is F1 plus F2 plus F3 plus F4. So here I will give this as equation number two, and repeat the above procedure for remaining cylinder. That is, when cylinder two is cut off, the equation one becomes I1 plus I3 plus I4 is equal to brake power of cylinder 1, 3, 4 only, plus frictional power that is F1 plus F2 plus F3 plus F4. And when cylinder three is cut off, the equation one becomes I one plus I two plus I four is equal to brake power of cylinders one, two, and four plus frictional power that is F one plus F two plus F three plus F four. And when cylinder four is cut off, the equation one becomes I one plus I two plus I three is equal to brake power of cylinder one, two, and three plus frictional power that is F one plus F two plus F three plus F four. Now subtract equation two from equation one. And we get I one is equal to brake power of engine minus brake power of cylinder two, three, and four. So here we calculate I P of cylinder one from this equation. In same order, indicated power I two, I three, and I four is calculated from equation one, three, four, and five. Now total indicated power of engine, that is I P of engine, we calculate by adding I one, I two, I three, I four, and put the value of indicated power and total brake power in equation one, and we'll get value of frictional power. and mechanical efficiency we calculated by formula total brake power upon indicated power into 100 so in this way mohs test is used to calculate indicated power frictional power and mechanical efficiency by assuming frictional power of each cylinder remains constant here the assumption is frictional power is constant which is supposed to be independent of load and directly proportional to speed 